So let's get started. So the prerequisite of installing NetBeans on your Ubuntu operating system is you need to have Java installed on your Ubuntu operating system. So if you don't have Java, just install Java. I have already created a video about how you can install Java on your Ubuntu operating system. So if you don't know how to install Java, I will put the link of that video in the description of this video so you can directly see this. So let's check whether Java is installed on our Ubuntu operating system. So to check it, you can just press Ctrl Alt T to open the terminal on your Ubuntu operating system or you can just search for the terminal in the applications. So the check is very simple. You just need to write Java hyphen hyphen version and you can see I have Java 15.0.2 installed on my Ubuntu operating system but if it gives uh, no response then you need to install Java right so once you have already installed uh, Java on your system we are ready to install uh, NetBeans on our Ubuntu operating system. So now let's check which is the latest version of NetBeans which is available for download. So I'm going to just search for NetBeans download and the first link which will appear here will be from netbeans.apache.org forward slash download. So I'm going to just click on this link and you can see the latest release right now is 12.02 at the time of making this video. So we are going to download this version of NetBeans on our Ubuntu operating system. Now you can see that this uh, download button is available here, but we are not going to download this NetBeans from this website. I'm going to show you the simpler way of uh, installing NetBeans on your Ubuntu operating system. And that is by using a utility called snap so snap is essentially a package manager to install and manage your uh, apps on different kind of uh, Linux operating systems so let me uh, clear the terminal and to uh, search for the NetBeans using snap you can just write uh, snap and then find and then just write NetBeans here and then press enter which is going to show you the version of NetBeans available using snap so you can see the version available for the snap is 12.02 which we have seen on the official website also so this is the latest version so to install NetBeans on your Ubuntu operating system using snap you just need to give this command which is sudo snap install netbeans uh, and then hyphen hyphen classic here which is going to essentially install the latest version available on snap right just provide your ubuntu's uh, password and then press enter which is going to start the download of this netbeans on your ubuntu operating system so just wait for the download to complete so now i can see that netbeans 12.2 from Apache NetBeans has been successfully installed. So if you see this message, that means NetBeans is successfully installed on your Ubuntu operating system. So I'm going to minimize uh, this uh, terminal and I can uh, go to the applications once again. And here you will be able to find NetBeans. You can see this uh, icon for the NetBeans. If you don't find the NetBeans icon, you can also search for NetBeans and you will be able to see this NetBeans uh, icon. So I'm going to just click on this icon, which is going to start NetBeans on my Ubuntu operating system. So now let's uh, create a Java project using NetBeans IDE to check whether everything is working fine or not. So here I'm going to just click on the file option and then I'm going to click on new project and then I'm going to select uh, Java with Maven on the left hand side and the project type will be Java application and then click on next and now on the next window it says in order to use this functionality support for Java SE must be activated so I'm going to just check this checkbox and then click on download and activate and then I'm going to wait for some time until I see success message for this activation. So now I can see this message which says, welcome to NetBeans uh, plugin installer. The following plugin will be installed and this is the plugin name. So I'm going to just click on uh, next here and then accept uh, license terms and conditions. 
and then click on install and once this is done i'm going to just click on finish now i can see the next window where i can uh, provide the name of my project by default it's called a maven project one i will leave it as default you can change this name according to your preferences also this will be the location where your project will be uh, saved and then the group id is com.mycompany i will leave everything as default because i just want to check whether everything is working fine or not so i'm going to just click on finish here which is going to create my project so this is my project which is created so i'm going to just expand this and under the source packages i can see this one package which is created so i'm going to create a new class under this package so just right click on this package and then click on uh, new and then select uh, java class and then give the name of your uh, java class i'm going to name my class as let's say hello and then i'm going to just click on the finish button so now you can see this hello dot java class is created so inside this hello class i'm going to create a public static void main so i will uh, just write uh, uh, psvm and then uh, i'm going to press control space which is going to give me this uh, option to create this uh, method so i'm going to just click on this and this method is created and inside this main method i'm going to just type uh, system dot out dot print line and then i'm going to just uh, print hello world for example so once i have this code i'm going to just uh, save this code by just pressing control s and now i'm going to build and run it so to build it you can just press on this hammer button which is going to build your uh, maven project so whenever you uh, build your project for the first time it downloads some packages from the repository so it will take a little bit more time but from the next time when you just compile and run it uh, it will be faster so now the build is successful so let's run it by just clicking on this uh, green run button and then click on select main class which is going to just run our application and show you the output so now i can see this hello world message here so everything is working fine now right so this is how you can download and install and use netbeans ide on your ubuntu operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video